Now let's move towards Canada where Toronto International Film Festival was organized and during this event some of the Bollywood's well-known artists and dignitaries graced the festival with their presence. TIFF has grown steadily adding initiatives throughout the years. TIFF Cinematic and the Film Reference Library opened in 1990 and the TIFF Kids International Film Festival launched in 1998. Film Circuit began exhibiting independent and Canadian films in underserved cities across Canada in 1994. Let's have a look. Hello. Hello, Canada. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. My name is Cameron Bailey, and I'm the artistic director and co-head of TIFF. Hi, I'm Joanna Vicente, Executive Director and Co-Head of TIFF. This morning, we were thrilled to announce the Canadian titles that will screen at the 44th Toronto International Film Festival. This really is one of my favorite events of the year, and both Joanna and I are excited to be here to celebrate exceptional Canadian talent. Today, we have a very special guest with us. I'd like to welcome to the stage, representing the Government of Ontario, the Honourable Lisa McLeod, Minister for Tourism, Culture and Sport. Uh, thanks very much. Bienvenue à tous. It's uh, wonderful to be here to help celebrate uh, the opening of the 44th Annual International Film Festival here in the City of Toronto. More than 22,000 people participated in TIFF's Share Journey Rally on Festival Street and online last September. TIFF will continue to champion women and lead the charge for gender equity. The Toronto International Film Festival was organized in Canada and it always starts on Thursday night after Labor Day, the first Monday in September in Canada and lasts for 11 days. It is always my favorite to stream my movies at it. Um, today, you know, there's a big circle of many, many things that are happening today. Um, today is seven years to Barfi, which was produced by Sid and Rani with me, um, and it's one of my most special films. Um, my first film that I came to with, um, to Toronto with was about 10 years ago. In the festival, director Shanali Bose expertly guided the sky in pink through romance and friendship family treasury on towards a powerful conclusion. Returning to the festival with the sky is pink, recently Bollywood's beloved Priyanka Chopra attended TIFF for the launch of her next film, The Sky is Pink. I didn't have any message as such, but I just think that just a, a small thing that I wanted to sort of bring out is my own experience with death, because my own experience with it, I have a, a complete different relationship with it. I was able to accept my son's death completely before I started writing and directing this film. And I have a lightness around death, and I know that may sound like, like bizarre, but it, it's really true. And so. I wore vibrant red at his funeral. I, I totally believe that when somebody's journey is over, you need to celebrate that. It doesn't matter if they didn't live 100 years. Movie The Elder One showed up to TIFF and it received a grand welcome and the team was all hunky-dory about their presence at TIFF. Thank you so much, TIFF. Uh, it's, it's such an amazing thing to always be here, to find, somehow find a way or a movie to come to TIFF. Founded in 1976, TIFF is now one of the largest and most prestigious events of its kind in the world. In 1998, Variety magazine acknowledged that TIFF is the second only to Cannes in terms of high-profile picks, stars and market activity. Well, that's all in the Community Roundup today. Lekin, agar aap koi sujaab dena chahate hai, to please email us on communitynews at tvasiausa.com. You can like us on Facebook too. Our Facebook ID is facebook.com slash tvasiausa. To milenge phir ek bar kal Community Roundup mein. Tab tak dekhte rahiye TV Asia. Namaskar.
Welcome back. Now let's head towards Canada where opening night at Toronto International Film Festival was organized for all the professionals involved in making some classic wonderful films. Starting out in 1976, the Toronto International Film Festival has become one of the most beloved cinematic events in the world, universally regarded as an ideal platform for all filmmakers to launch their careers and to premiere their new work. Let's have a look. Toronto International Film Festival has been described as the most important film festival in the world, the largest, the most influential, the most inclusive. The Toronto International Film Festival, often stylized as TIFF, is one of the largest publicly attended film festivals in the world, attracting over 480,000 people annually. It was nice to be here in TIFF. This is my first year over here in TIFF. I am a film director from Bollywood, Chandrakan Singh. And I've been to Cannes a couple of times and then I went to Venice also. Hi, this is Rishi Bhutani and I'm from Mumbai. My experience about TIFF, this is my first time to TIFF and uh, I've been to a couple of the festivals and uh, I really loved here and it's a beautiful experience. And uh, when you talk about marketing and uh, when you talk about business, I think this is the best place to be. Many well-known personalities were present during this event from the film industry at the global level. This year, TIFF included movies like Bombay Rose, The Sky is Pink by Shonali Bose, Made in Bangladesh, and many other versatile movies. I'm one of the producers on the film Honey Boy, um, and I came to the project. I was sent the script about a year ago in January and I read it right away with my development executive and we decided that we loved it and would love to get on board. My character is basically uh, was uh, Lucas or young old, uh, older Otis's uh, roommate in rehab um, and uh, my character basically grounded Otis so anytime Otis was getting in his head or acting privileged it was my character job to to let the air out of him and let him know like it's other people with bigger problems that's out here doing the same thing so look man just do the work. Diff's mission is to transform the way people see the world through film. Diff is dedicated to presenting the best of international and Canadian cinema and creating transformational experiences for film lovers and creators of all ages and backgrounds. Well, that's all in the Community Roundup today. But if you want to give a message, please email us on communitynews at tvasiausa.com. You can like us on Facebook too. Our Facebook ID is facebook.com slash tvasiausa. So we'll see you again tomorrow in the Community Roundup. Until then, keep watching TV Asia. Namaskar.